Derek, how nice is it to be home, a place that you guys just simply haven't been for much of the last uh, seven weeks? Yeah, we've been on the road for a little while, but it be, be nice to get back home and play in the stadium. Um, uh, been a little while since we played in there, so it'll be fun to get back in front of the fans and um, play a home game. Joe Bryce, much from maybe being back in Tuscaloosa, how much you pay attention to maybe former family guys? Yeah, I got to spend time with him last year uh, during the house commercial. Got to know him a little bit and, um, you know, just, just talk to him. I'm um, happy for his success and um, hopefully he don't have much this Sunday. What's it like for those new guys coming in for the Heisman commercials? How, how, you, how the vets kind of break them in? Well, I didn't get invited this year, so I don't know how this year went. <laughs> <laughs> I talked to Nissan about that, about that one, but um, yeah, it's always fun. Um, you know, we just laugh and joke and spend time with one another and get to know one another um, if a guy's new and um, really just have fun because it's, it's some long days. Derek, this is the time of year where in your career you've taken over basically mm -hmm. Thanksgiving on to the end of the season. What gives you confidence that this year with this offensive line, this offense, you will be the same? Yeah, I mean, I'm just really focused on just trying to get a win. Um, that's my main focus, and then let the other stuff happen, um, you know, when it happens. But my main focus is um, doing my job effectively enough to, to help us win in any way possible, whether that's me taking over or being effective in, in, in other ways. So it's just about winning, and then when you win, then those stuff will happen the way it's supposed to. How hard is the losing of the last year been on you, just your psyche and all of you? You came from Alabama, they're used to winning. The first five or six years you were here, you guys won a lot of games. How hard has that been on you from just your psyche and a personal standpoint? Yeah, I mean, it's tough on all of us. Uh, nobody likes losing. Nobody goes, goes in the game trying to lose, especially when you um, work so hard throughout the week to uh, go out there and try to get a win and just not going the way you, you want it to. It's tough on everybody uh, collectively. And, you know, you just got to keep you got to keep working, keep focused on improving and, um, you know, just have, have an emphasis on it um, during the week, even more, even more until, you know, that, that day comes where we get a victory. And I think that's just the main focus of guys is just trying to find any way possible for us to get a win and, um, you know, just doing doing what we can to go out there and execute the way we know how to. Derek, and all the time at, at Nissan Stadium, you know, it, it's yourself and Eddie George. Those are the only names that get chanted. When you hear them chant, you know, Henry, Henry, how much does that charge you? Like, what, what do you think when you hear that? Well, it's been a little while, but, um, yeah, uh, it's, it's, it's very cool. Um, you know, uh, I, I appreciate the fans um, that, are, that that appreciate me and, um, you know, we love and, um, you know, we um, always need their support. Um, it's always a, a surreal moment for me because, you know, I always dreamed of, you know, being able to play play in this league and be effective and um, have a big impact. And, you know, Eddie definitely had his impact. So for my name to be mentioned with his, you know, is always cool and something I cherish. Mike talked a little yesterday about wanting to make sure you get some more touches as the season goes on. Is there anything you feel like you can do personally to make that happen, or is it kind of more dependent on the other 10 guys? Yeah, I just think I, um, with the touches I get, just be more effective, um, be more efficient um, in those plays when the ball's in my hands and, um, you know, trying to create ex explosives in any way possible. But I think efficiency has been my, my main focus um, this week, just trying to uh, get, get the most out of a play that I can when the ball is in my hands. I not really worry about the touches, but when I get the ball, just being efficient. Have you got any read on why efficiency might have been down these last couple of games? No, that's just my fault. Um, um, me executing and um, uh, doing what I need to do to uh, make the play effective, um, that's just all on me. And, um, you know, it's got to be better. How much has that been an overall theme, just the play volume for the offense after – having so few plays in Jacksonville. Yeah, I mean, like when you have, when you don't run a lot of plays, you know, not many opportunities can, can happen for a lot of guys. So that's why you want to sustain drives, um, execute, and I have self-inflicting wounds that we've been talking about to be able to uh, have uh, drives with a lot of plays, guys being able to get the ball in their hands to be able to make plays and, and scoring touchdowns. What's your impact, I guess, the running game, maybe the whole offense when you've had so many different combinations on the offensive line, and, and and how do you work through that? Yeah, I mean, I think it's just the next guy up. I think guys have been trying to prepare like the starter throughout the whole season, and then when the time comes, you got to go out there and, and, and play like it as well. And I think guys are just trying to focus on their job uh, day by day, and then when Sunday comes, try to go execute. And we got a lot of guys in there. But at the end of the day, you know, Coach always says, prepare like a starter. How 
about the Panthers defense specifically, top 10 defense, but when it comes to the rush defense, giving up a lot of yards on the ground, where do you see the breakdowns and the opportunities for the ground game? Yeah, I mean, uh, I think their defense is pretty solid. They have game records over there, guys that play hard, guys that get to the ball, guys that are physical. But I think the, the main focus is just us, um, you know, making about us, executing our offense, um, sustaining drives, putting drives together, um, converting on on third downs and um, being able to uh, have more plays. Um, I, uh, I think, you know, they're probably trying to do whatever they can to make it about them and um, get them a win as well. But I think it's, it's mostly about us and what we do on offense and how we execute and how we be able to put drives together that end in points. And I think that's just, just a big thing, focus on execution and, and what we need to do to be better on Sunday. Derek, how would you best describe the attitude of the locker room amongst the players? Yeah, I think guys are, are motivated. Guys are are still hungry. Um, and in in this you know in this in this time now, it's easy to make excuses and you know finger point. But I don't think no guy is is, is doing that. Guys just focus on improving individually and collectively and trying to help one another, just so we can spring forward and get get it going in the right direction that that we want it to. And you know we've been preaching the same message. I think it's just time to win. That's what guys want. Derek, Mike's message has been the same throughout his entire time. Here. But now that message is like the 14 losses and 17 games. How does it keep resonating? How do you guys keep the confidence in belief that this week you're going to win? Because it's, because it's work. And, um, you know, we, we, we know it works. And we know that uh, as players, um, you know, it, it, it falls on us to go out there and execute. Um, you know, they can call the plays, put play to get put plays together, but we gotta go out there and execute. And um, you know, we this this standard and this culture is, has worked for uh, the time he's he's been here. Um, you know, it's been it's been tough right now because we haven't been winning. But um, I, I believe and truly believe eventually, you know, everything could turn the way we wanted to as long as we go out there and execute in all three phases and play how we want to play and not have. You know, this self inflicted stuff that, you know, we know that we don't need to have to be able to win games and not, not hurt ourselves in games as well. Going against the team with the worst record in the NFL, is there some sort of mindset of, hey, circle this one? We really have to have this. This is a perfect chance to kind of right the ship and see if we can start stringing something together. Um, well, you, you want to treat it as the, the, the next game, the next opponent, not because they're the worst team. Because I mean anybody can be beat in this in, in this league. Um no, no matter who it is, the worst to the to the first. So, you know, you gotta approach this game seriously, be locked in on the details and, and what we need to do just so when we go out there, we can play our style of football and be able to win the football game. Thanks, Derek. Well, Thanks, Derek. Thanks, Derek. Everything is trending in the right direction. Um we just gotta find a way to get a win. With Bryce Young, I heard guys refer to going against him like chasing a rabbit. What kind of challenge? Does he bring, you know, the way he runs around back there? And I mean, he, he, he tried to stay in plays. Um, I think the thing is when you're playing a guy like that, as we talk about, you know, each and every week when you play against a playing against a scramble quarterback, we have to be on the same page. You know, the rush lane's got to be um, coordinate. Um, he just got to rush relentless. A guy like that who, you know, when he um, feel pressure, he like to move around. But I don't – I wouldn't consider him the same way I consider as, like, when, I, when you say that phrase, I think of a guy like Kyle Amara. I don't think he that type of um, like scrambler like that. Like I said, I do think he he have um, some um, times where he scrambling and try to get out of the pocket, but I would consider him like a Kyle Amara when you're playing against a guy like that, trying to chase around him. But, you know, when you get a guy like that or um, with Bryce Young, you I think he easy, um, he's more easy to get to the ground than a guy like Kyle Amara. So. Is there some extra energy on the guys up front to pay? Like, let's feed off each other. Let's feed off the home crowd and really see what we can do. Yeah, I mean, you know, it's, you know, we the, keep try to keep the uh, streak alive and um, keep winning at home. You know, especially with our home crowd. Um, as long as we out there making plays and you know, hopefully get a win. You know, they in it. So that's that's the um, goal to try to keep our crowd in it. Um, because they, they do play the um, huge part of it, you know, especially when we up or, you know, when the, even when we're not up, you know, when them third down come, then, you know, all crowd really into it and they loud. Um, you know, it plays a big part. So, you know, hopefully coming back home this weekend and, you know, we can get back on the right track and, you know, keep building off that because that's, that's what it's about, you know, winning one game at a time and, you know, trying to stack the wins. Thank you. Say to spark guys around you, or you hope maybe they watch some of the plays you make, and maybe that inspires them a little bit as well. 
man, you know, I just try to do my job. Um, no matter if it's, you know, my me out there talking or, you know, the way I carry myself on the field and off the field, you know, I, I don't think I should need to do anything more. I wouldn't tend to want to go watch my film or whatever because I have so much I need to get better at. Um, you know, I can play better. We all can play better. And at the end of the day, once we all get our best football and we all get on the same page and, you know, on all three phases, we could get a win. And I think that's the message um, need to be. We just have to keep improving and, you know, put it together because as, you, as when we watch film, it's just one guy every play or, you know, two guys or whatever it may be. We just have to put it together. Um, and I think, like I said, there's nothing, uh, no better way to do it than playing at home in front of our crowd this weekend and, you know, trying to start building uh, second wins. How much does this team need a win just to – improve morale and get guys kind of a little more bounce in their steps. That's that's what's going that's what help us out. I mean, win and take care of everything. Um, as you can see around the league, even when guys playing the worst football, um, you know, you win that's all they think about and then you lose that that's when it really points uh, everything is more emphasis on. But I think once we get this win this weekend and you know that's the mindset of winning, you know, we could just keep stacking wins. And I think when you win, like I said, when you when you win, and then you keep winning, that's build the confidence of God. So, like I said, as long as we win, win and take care of everything. You're one of the most motivated players in this locker room, but how difficult has it been for you just to stay positive during the last couple of weeks when you are losing? I mean, I you know it's called not being a front runner. Um, yeah, I, I I hate losing. It sucks. You know, after the game, I'm frustrated. But at the end of the day, it's about you know, me being a leader, I can't come in here, you know, dragging. I can't go out there on the practice field dragging. It's about trying to come in. What can I do first to get better? How can I play better as an individual? And then try to translate that message to the team. So at the end of the day, you can't just come in here pouting and, you know, because this league don't care. It's not going to wait on no one else. I'm not going to wait on the Titans or whoever it may be. So every day I come in here with a positive mindset that we're going to win. And um, like I said, start this weekend. Most definitely. Um, so my foundation gave them a reason. Um, I decided to give out 500 turkeys. Um, you know, it was a little late because of practice, but, you know, with a great marketing, um, you know, William Raymond, uh, Lauren, you know, they she, she set it up perfect for me. And, you know, um, just being able to give back to our community just means so much to me. Um, you know, just, just the time of, you know, to me is giving, um, you know, being able to, being in the position I am today, um, you know, because as I always think about it, you know, I'm thankful to play, play the game of football. I'm thankful to be able to give back to our community. And around this time, I know that, you know, maybe someone didn't have, you know, that money or whatever it may be to go buy a turkey. That's that's the things I think about. And, you know, that's things like that just mean so much to me just to be able to give back to our community, especially right here in Tennessee. Were you able to be out there? Were you able to distribute a few turkeys? Oh, most definitely. What, um, what was, and what was it like, the expression from those people who were on the receiving end? And most definitely, I, um, you know, I told Raven, he let me get, I did um, the first port, portion of practice yesterday. And I was able to get over there kind of um, towards the end a little bit. Um, but, you know, when one of the ladies asked me, what's, what's the cause? And I was like, it's me, you know, my foundation. Uh, she's like, who are you? I was like, Jefferson, oh, you, you know, just the excitement on their on faces, man. It's, you know, just all the thank yous. Like, thank you uh, what you do for the community. And and that's that's what it's all about, man. You know, I don't look for you know all the publicity on the outside. You know, I just I do it, you know, because that's my heart. I do it for you know our, our community. So um, you know, just to be out there, to go out there, you know, um, you know, being able to get that permission from Brave to leave practice a little early, you know, it meant, it meant a lot to be out there. You end up giving them away 500 turkeys. Well, I wouldn't say we, we gave that many out um, out there. We did um, give out a, a lot out there, but. You know, what we did with the extra, um, it's a lot of housing here, you know, even with the uh, the different shelters and stuff like that, you know, uh, we, we found houses and everything to take them and drop them off to, so.